Let's go that way. <coughs> okay, so... It, um, it happened on Christmas Day. Um, I have, uh, I moved out of the town I went to. Um, to a different place, my own little quiet area. Um, there's not a lot of people. Uh, the next house is like two miles away. I like to live alone in the forest, not covered by trees. Um, and uh, I don't have a lot of family over. Um, typically, I spend Christmas making a hot cocoa and just enjoy the cold air. Um, but this Christmas, it uh, something just I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I I want to say that it may have been some kind of a creature I, I'm not sure but it was strange I had just I had just gone to bed after a long day of work, I'd, I'd just gone to bed after a long day, and I don't know, a few hours in, I think it was, it was, um, it was 2.39 a.m., and I had woken up abruptly. Now, there was no loud sound at first, I had simply woken up in a sweat, and I couldn't really explain what, I can't explain what it felt like, just, I just felt cold, a strange, cold feeling had surrounded me, I had a, I just felt cold, and, and it wasn't because of the cold air, it, it was, I, I don't know, something else, I'd gone to get a snack, and, that's when I felt this chilling sensation. It, it was like nothing I had ever experienced before. It was like every cell in my body had frozen. Like every bone in my body sh shivered up and I felt like a lot. I felt paralyzed, I couldn't move, and then the chimney had turned, the, the fire had been blown out in my chimney. Now, it's not, um, uh, it's not one of those automatic chimneys, it's, it's just a normal chimney that I had installed a few years back. It had blown out completely, it didn't feel natural. I had always been afraid of keeping the, the fire on when I slept, and I had always been afraid that I would wake up on fire, so I never really turned it on. I had never lit the fire before, but this time it was on, and it was because I didn't feel warm. It was as if the fire was cold and corrupted, and then it blew out completely. I, um, I last remembered a set of eyes. I, I don't know if that's what I saw, but it, that's what it could have been. I don't know. All I know is I just, I slowly succumbed to the paralyzing pressure that was on my body, and I collapsed. But before I collapsed, I could have sworn... And I heard something speak, and, uh, uh, Mr. Bentley, please, tell us what you heard. This thing, it said, next Christmas, you won't wake up. I, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I, I don't know what this was. I, when I woke up the next morning, I was in the same area. It wasn't a dream, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it 
Thank you for your time, Mr. Bradley. You can come by next week if you have any more to say. Okay. <laughs>